Welcome to the vestibule. I know that sounds like a really fancy word. All it is is our back entryway. But for a hotel, I feel like we could use the word vestibule. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But this is going to be our back entrance at the back of the house. And it was the back entrance back when it was a hotel. And I believe it possibly could have been the hotel entrance. The people would have went to the front. They would have went to the saloon or possibly they would have went into the cafe. But if you were going to come to the hotel, I believe you would have came in this back entrance right here. We're going to have a set of French doors that are going to be right here. And this is Greg and I's entrance. These are our stairs that go up to our house. This is a closet under the stairway. This right here is where the elevator comes down. And that whole mess, of course, is where all our internet comes in. And then I'm standing in the lockout door. Back up a little bit. This doorway right here separates the upper and the lower units. And so this area, it's kind of cool if you kind of go up. It's super tall. There's some pipes coming through. I think I'm going to paint them copper to make them look intentional. But we had to have this pipe. We couldn't get rid of it. And so either we could come low with the ceiling or embrace the pipe. Um, we're embracing the pipe. I wanted it to be really, really tall, kind of like a hotel vestibule, entryway, whatever you want to call it. So, but today... I'm going to try not to make you guys keep on getting dizzy. We are working on the floor. Well, I'm finishing this tile rug that I have in set right here. And I want to talk to you a little bit about decisions and just craziness that happens when you're doing something. So I picked this tile out over a year ago for this back area. And it was going to cover the whole area where you see this really cool black hex. This is a step that we had to create because of a drainage issue in the back of the building. You run into stuff like this all the time when you're trying to figure things out. There were some issues with a little deck back there. We were like, what is this little deck about? Well, it was to help with this drainage problem with the cement. So we had to come in and our solution to figuring out the drainage problem, everything drained to the house, not away from the house. So we decided to build this little step up right here and it circles underneath into the elevator so that when you come in, there's like a little formal entry. Now the problem is we didn't need to raise it up a full step height. And I know this is complicated, but for those of you that want to do stuff like this, you run into these kinds of things. So I have about a probably a three and four inch step down into this area which is a trip hazard let's face it if i had all the same floor especially if it was a patterned floor depth perception is really hard to see so i had kept rethinking this floor design when i was looking at this and then we had to raise this because i love this pattern it just looks old hotel pattern to me i could just see it there but also hexagon squares Mosaic, totally, you know, I love it. I have it everywhere upstairs in my bathrooms, New Orleans vibe. And so I had already ordered the tile. I had no, I couldn't return it. Then when we had the whole step down thing, I felt like I kept looking at it and trying to figure it out. Like, how was I going to take this tile and lay it up here with this pattern? And then what were we going to do down? It was a mess. And I really, really was in a, I was stressing about it a little bit. And then I found this hex tile. Now, the problem was, you're like, well, why didn't you just get hex? They always have hex. They always have black hex. They never have this worn brown aged hex. And girl, I guys, I've been looking for a year for something that would coordinate with this tile. And you can't really see. Let me walk over here. And I'm going to grab this right here to show you guys that this tile is like a grayish, brownish, aged, flat, 100 year old looking i've seen some better days tile but i love it because it really i'm gonna throw it on the ground matches this tile perfectly so when i found this i think i found it at lowe's i'm pretty sure i was like oh my god this is what i've been looking for for a year a year and it solved every issue that we could possibly have in the front of the house you guys know that we have that amazing um, estab um, John Fowler building, New Orleans looking tile, establishing it in 1906. We wanted to do something like that in this back entry 
so it'd be like a hotel. So I have the paint that I had bought from my tile that's on my backsplash upstairs. That's the bonding primer that can bond a tile. So my plan is I'm going to bond this white primer and then I'm going to get some, I'm going to age it out once I get the primer and I'm going to write in the hex established 1906 really big across the back right here. So when you walk in the back and the front, our friends. I know this is a long video and you're sitting here staring at my tile and I'm just going on rambling about the the decisions and the choices and the greatness of not giving up and looking and keeping on finding exactly what you want. I hope this helps some of you guys. Um, we're super excited about this little carpet floor. I feel like when you walk in, you're going to see this tile and then you're going to go, oh, look at that tile. And your brain is going to go, wait, there's a step. I don't know that it's going to be a conscious thing, but I really think it's going to be a better thing and people will pause and not trip as much. At least that's what I'm going with and I'm sticking to it, you guys. You have a great day. I hope these little videos encourage you to try new things, but also realize that new things take some effort and they, they don't always come out like you want. You got to think about it. All right gonna go and I gotta wait over this see my little corners I just finished those mama cuts and then I gotta come back and grout you guys have a great day